It's day 142 of the project and this week is all about smelling great for less. And today's scent of the day is from Middle Eastern fragrance house Afnan. This one goes by the name of 9pm and it smells very familiar. Uh, but to find out everything you need to know about this one, stay tuned to Mags Frags. <laughs> Yes, hello again everybody and welcome to another episode of Mags Frags. I'm Paul and this is day 142 of my Fragrance 365 project where it's the fragrance that's the star of the show. Today's featured scent is 9pm by Afnan uh, which was first launched in 2020. Afnan is an inspired by fragrance house based out in the United Arab Emirates and they produce very high quality copies of designer and niche fragrances at really competitive prices. This particular fragrance comes in a 100ml bottle size and it's in an eau de parfum concentration for 20 quid, uh, which let me tell you is an absolute steal for what you get from this one. Yes, yeah, so into the presentation and the one thing that really stands out for me with this brand compared to other Middle Eastern brands such as uh, Armaf and Rasasi is the quality of the presentation. I own a few fragrances now from this house, uh, one of which uh, will be coming up in a couple of days time so all you hardcores I'm sure you'll know what this one is uh, but that's coming up in a couple of days time. Uh, but yeah, they all have uh, a really high quality premium feel to them. Uh, this bottle for instance is the most weighty 100ml uh, bottle that I've ever handled and the glass is about an inch thick and the cap alone is as heavy as some uh, full bottles in my collection. Uh, the bottle shape and the uh, the round metal cap reminds me of the uh, Serge Luton fragrances and on the front is the uh, the name of the fragrance uh, the name of the house and the size and concentration and that's in like a uh, black and chrome uh, whilst the rest of the bottle is just like in a in a clear glass it's got a really really good sprayer uh, and I'll waste a couple of sprays there and like I say um, everything about this one is uh, is very high quality and well made the box again is really good quality and it comes in like a striped finish and then you've got this chrome 9pm branding on the front at the bottom again you've got the name of the house and the size and concentration and then at the side of the box is a, a hologram for authenticity I really like holograms for some weird reason. I find myself uh, staring at them for ages. I find them like a, a treat to the eyes. Uh, but then on the top, uh, we've got another Afnan logo. And at the bottom, we've got all your product information. Uh, you've got your barcode there and you've got a batch code as well at the bottom. The top notes in this one are apple, cinnamon, wild lavender and bergamot. In the heart of the fragrance, there's orange blossom and lily of the valley. And in the base, there's vanilla, tonka bean, amber and patchouli. So this one opens up with the biggest blast of fruity sweetness and straight away there's no mistaking what this is meant to be and you don't need to go looking for it either. As soon as you uh, spray it for the first time it just fills the room. It's uh, a copy of Ultra Male by Jean-Paul Gaultier or you could even uh, say Date by uh, Fragrance One if you want to go all niche on us. However, uh, this one is more intense than both of these two and even though um, it's almost the exact same DNA it's even more beast mode and honestly just one spray is enough to uh, totally fill a room. This is the ultimate definition of bubblegummy sweetness with a, an explosion of vanilla and tonka bean and it's topped off with some fruity apple and a sprinkling of spicy cinnamon up top. There's some springtime powdery florals in here too uh, so you do get traces of the lavender and the orange blossom which give it a slight powdery texture but for the most part this is a fairly linear fragrance that remains very sweet and very fruity from start to finish. This is a very loud, attention-grabbing and playful fragrance that I feel is best suited to younger guys and worn in the evenings as a, a clubbing scent or one if you go into something like a night out bowling with your family or just something like that. 
It's way too sweet to wear in the office or as a work centre or in any confined space for that matter. And I'd never wear it during hot sunny days because it's way too uh, sickly sweet and cloying for the hot climates. However, it would be uh, great to take on holiday with you to wear in the evening when you're out partying, uh, when it gets a little bit cooler in the evening. And in fact, I'd say that that would probably be the best scenario for this one to shine. And if you're under 25 and you're going on a lad's holiday in the near future, pack this in your suitcase for the, uh, for the night time because also women seem to uh, absolutely love this one too. The performance on this one is nuclear, and I don't say that about many fragrances, if any. Um, I'd say it even outperforms Ultramal, uh, which is a beast mode fragrance in its own right. You are going to fill a room with ease with this one, so just a couple of sprays is all you need to, uh, to leave a massive scent cloud. It is a projection monster, and it'll last easily 10 hours, so performance is the last thing you need to worry about with this one. Yeah, so for 20 quid, you get a 100ml fragrance that's one of the most mass appealing scent DNAs of all time. This one's got huge performance and it comes in top quality presentation. If that's not enough for you to give this one a try, then I don't know what is. And by the way, uh, this is not a, a hard sell. I don't get a single penny for recommending this fragrance to you today. It's just one that I've bought because it were, it were quite cheap and I've heard good things about it. And when it arrived, it just blew me away. So I just thought I'd let you know about it. You can pick it up from eBay, uh, but apparently there's uh, a few people claiming on eBay that there's some dupes of this kicking around, which I find uh, a little bit hard to believe why anyone would want to clone another clone that only costs 20 quid, but uh, that's fragrance trolls on the internet for you, I'm afraid. Uh, but if that is the case, then uh, just make sure that you get the Afnan uh, hologram on the side of the box. And if it knocks your head back with its potency when you uh, spray it for the first time, you'll definitely know that it's genuine. Yeah, so once again, that's about it for today's scent of the day. But don't forget, coming up tomorrow, I'm going to be uploading my latest perfume parlor haul video, and there's some really big hitters amongst them, so uh, make sure to look out for that one. I've also got uh, plenty more cheapies to talk about in the 365 project, and I've also received some free samples from uh, another UK based clone fragrance house called the Cologne Factory. It's the first time anyone's sent me any freebies, so I'm really looking forward to uh, trying testing those out and I'll, uh, I'll let you know if they're any good once I've given them a few wearings. And as always guys if you found this video useful please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel. It's also great to hear your opinions, your thoughts and your critiques on all other fragrances that feature in this 365 project so don't forget to keep your comments coming down in the comments section. So once again as always thank you very much for tuning into this latest episode. Stay safe, keep smelling fresh and I'll see you very soon for another one. Bye bye for now.